after I had started practicing and I was working for another firm, so this was before I had even opened my own, and I had this, this client that came in. It was a husband who had been charged with attempted murder because he had caught his wife cheating on him and went after the boyfriend. And he came to me so angry and so full of blame, pointing the finger, this is her fault. And granted, she had she had taken advantage of a situation as well and turned the kids against him. So there, there was a lot of conflict in this case. And I remember saying to him, you know, I'm willing to take this on, I'm willing to fight for you, but what I need you to do is take responsibility for your own actions because you can't control her, you can't control anybody else, you can only control you. Now I am by no means an actual therapist, but I did do a lot of work and healing through my own divorce process. So I do have an outlook where you can always work on making yourself better no matter what your circumstances are. And with this case, this man really clung to that. He did have an individual therapist as well, but then he would call me. Now, mind you, I, I'm charging premium dollar working as a lawyer, but he would call me and just talk about you know, how he was feeling and how he wanted to overcome those, where it got to the point where I said, you know, this isn't really legal work. This is more stuff that your therapist should be doing and talking to you. And he said, yeah, I know. And I know you're charging me for it, but I get more out of you then I do my actual therapist and I feel better. And what I saw, and it influenced, this case definitely influenced the way that I've taken my firm at this point in moving forward. And he, he grasped this idea of responsibility and self-control to the point where there was one time we we're sitting in a room and his wife is just pushing his buttons, pushing his buttons. She knew, she knew exactly what to say to get him angry. And he remained so calm. And it was a huge turning point in this case where we went at the very beginning from him having absolutely no contact with his children and his kids really saying that they hated him to we walked away with sole legal and physical custody. He got the house. The wife got kicked out um, and she actually ended up having to pay my attorney fees. And it was all because of his outlook and how he changed. And so I could sit here and pat myself on the back and be like, oh, we got this amazing legal result, but I could not have gotten that result if he hadn't done the work. And it, it was that experience that in my own, you know, coupled with it, that made me realize how important it is for every single person going through a divorce, through a custody matter, that they really focus on them. Because if you focus on the other side and everything the other side's doing wrong, that's where your that's where your energy is going to be and that's where your case is going to go rather than you moving forward so our goal is you know obviously to get the best legal result in the words on that piece of paper but also to bring people through a process of really self change and awareness so that then when they leave us they're they're living you know an incredible life and so that's the vision of our goal